All right, guys. Hey, so um, just getting started. I've been waiting um, for a few more images to come in. Uh, sorry that I'm late. I uh, thought that I was broadcasting and I wasn't. So I'm I'm kind of testing out this system uh, for for Looks Like Film to see how it works for us. My name is Rachel Kay. I'm on staff at Looks Like Film. Um, I do a lot of random things for them, and I. Uh, also run this GIF group and I had wanted to figure out how to do this for that group and then I was like hey why not do it for looks like film so I'm testing out some of these presets I've been testing them out on my own images but I'm actually right now looking at my friend Megan Nianz's images because she was interested in looking and seeing uh, what they look like so hold on and there's a way to ask questions and I'm still figuring it out um yeah, so B Bartlett, um, I'm here. You should just join in whenever. Um, I think if you had clicked on it, you should be in here in a moment and I'll give everyone a moment to get in. Um, no, Elon, you're not gonna just get six pictures. I only had six pictures given to me, but I'm also gonna um, show you guys this wedding that I've been working on, but I wanted to quickly go ahead and um, do these few pictures that a couple friends had sent me before I got started in that. And, and this is really just a trial run of this program. So my plan is for us to use this so that the what's cool about this is the video is actually saved to YouTube. So we um, can share them with you in the future. So this is just kind of a test. I only have a half an hour today because uh, I have things to do. But um, this is just a test really to see if this works. and. Um, but feel free to also send me your images if you want. Um, I included my email when I originally posted this. Otherwise, go ahead and ask it again, and I'll holler it at you. So this is my friend Megan Yans's image. Let's look at the original. Oh my gosh, sometimes this doesn't work. So she shoots similar style to me. Shut up, Luke. <laughs> See you. Of course you would tune in and make me nervous. I'm not good at these things. So this is the before. Um, she shoots similarly to me. I always shoot underexposed. Uh, <laughs> Luke woke up his happy side. But um, I, I was playing with Don and Helen's presets on this because I think it really fits her style really well. They kind of have a great moody edit anyway. Um, and I increased the exposure on it about a little bit over one stop and I still think it's quite moody, moody and beautiful. Um, originally my favorite when I was playing around was number one but I think that uh, I think number four number four is my favorite for this image and she likes moodier stuff so I would probably decrease the exposure for her. We're here now. Luke's never happy. Shut up Luke. Sorry I had to answer those. I'm still figuring out what that means. So, and let's just look at someone else's. Let's look at Ryan's on this. Oh, that's quite lovely. Ryan's number one. Number two. Number three. I actually really liking Ryan's stuff on this, and I didn't think that I would because this stuff is really contrasty and punchy, but it's working really well for this image. Hmm. Number four is the really contrasty one. And the one thing I might do with this is decrease the contrast. You have to excuse me. When you're live streaming, my computer goes really slow. I'm on a PC, so. And number five. And then Lauren and Chris's stuff. So you can see like inside images, um, uh, magnet sheets with Canon. So, uh, you're gonna have to adjust white balance. I had already done that before I even did anything to it. Um, I'm gonna show you in a second an image that is a Nikon image so that you can see that it really doesn't matter. We don't, that's kind of a tweak. I feel like you really don't need to, to do, um, except you're gonna have to do it anyway, probably in normal life, either with a camera profile or something. Um, and then let's look at a black and white because I feel like this image should be black and white anyway. So that's, too bright for me, I would just decrease the exposure of it, but I'm not gonna waste that time. 
and I really like this one for it. Nice and clean and really punchy. I'm done answering Luke's question. Still figuring it out. Um, so let's go, let's go play with my friend's Nikon image. And then I'll show you the before I was playing with it earlier. So she also shoots underexposed shoes, obviously exposing for the background to try and save as much of that as possible. Um, I do the same thing. So that helps me with the way things work here. Um, so again, I feel like all these presets are just almost one click and done. Do you work with Vasco too? And what makes these different? I do, um, all of my presets are based off of Vasco and I tend, I also tend to use Mastin when I'm doing um, indoor really tricky lighting situations. So honestly, when I was talking to Luke about it, I told him that I thought that they seemed like Vasco, Mastin and Redleaf got together and had a baby. Um, because whenever I'm working with Vasco or Mastin, I find that I have to tweak it heavily to get the look that I want, which is really similar to the look of these. And both of those are film emulations and so is a lot of red leaf, whereas these are just created individually by artists. And I think that's what makes them kind of special. Um, we're as artists tweaking things to make them our own um, because not necessarily do we want a specific film emulation but we want it to look a certain way and i just feel like these are so nice and clean and the colors are just so awesome um so that's my short answer i could go on and on and on about why i love these presets i get nothing for telling you all this too by the way so i'm playing with don and helen's on this i think it works lovely with this image especially with the exposure up um, the only one that doesn't really work is a super punchy number five um, Ryan's also work really well on this. Um, I would tweak white balance quite a bit. This is Ryan's number two. That's the really punchy one. Ryan number three, also super punchy. Uh, so exposure is generally the thing that I find. Oh, Elon, you sent me a raw. Okay, let me see if I can find it. So um, exposure is the one thing that you definitely have to, oh my gosh, every, so many people have been sending me images. I wish I would have given everyone more time. I'm going to do this again tomorrow. This, Like I said, this is really just a test for this system. Um, so I'm going to plant, uh, Elon, I'm going to go ahead and since you're here, I'm going to download yours and use it. Oh, this is a beautiful image. Uh, do you have anything specific that you want me to... Yes, I still want to download it. Google Drive. My computer's like, this is a really big file. No, duh. Um, did you have anything specific that you wanted me to test with it, Elon? Because I can play with whatever. I can go through all of them or whatever. There's one that uh, my friend Megan sent me that I really wanted to test in because I feel like quite a bit of the presets work really, really, really well with the greens. So while I'm downloading this one, what are you trying to do? Can you stop showing me this? Okay, now I'll be ready for that. Um, a lot of them work really, really well with greens. Uh, that's something that I end up tweaking like a ton when I'm I'm working with presets. So to me, these like were magical because I don't have to even touch that. So hold on. <coughs> okay, I'll play with it and see. Hold on, let me up the exposure on this one. It's still downloading. My my um, internet is really slow when I'm streaming like this. So, and I just calibrated my monitor too. So don't judge me if the toning is weird. I'm not 100%, I haven't done a print test yet. I just did it today. Oh my gosh, everything's still going so slow. This is generally in my, oh, that's nice exposures too. Okay, LXC, I'll have to remember that. Actually, I'm, okay, we're gonna work on this. I really should have given everyone more time to give me images, but I kind of only, I was like, oh, I'm really quick gonna do this and no big deal. But then it became a bigger deal. So I'll be able to do a bunch more tomorrow. So yeah, feel free, be Bartlett. Uh, feel free to send me some images. Uh, my email's hello at rachelk with an e, photo.com. Um, if you want to stick around, you can ask me for that later. Don't mind all the weird crap on my computer. <coughs> so, 
So yeah, just go, feel free to send me and I will do this for you tomorrow. All right, let's play with this one. So is it because I've heard some things, people are having issues with images that have a lot of oranges and stuff in them. Is that the issue? Ooh, see, I already just really like this image like this. Um, you obviously expose, oh good, <laughs> thanks Elon. <laughs> I'm super nervous right now, this is not my forte. I'm in theater, but for some reason, when people can't see me, I uh, don't do well and I hate my voice, so. <clears throat> I really like this image just to start. You obviously expose for skin tone, which is really, really helpful. Um, sometimes I hate myself for not doing that. This one is a lot less contrasty, which I think gives a really nice mood to this image, actually. Um, not super fan of the skin tones here on Don and Helen's number two, so I would probably play around with white balance. But I do love what it's doing in the greens. It really zeroes in on, on her. Um, number three, I found, has made skin really magenta-y, so I have to go in and play with the oranges, which bores me because the whole point is a one-click edit. Um, it works really, really well um, indoors for some reason. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> and uh, number five, let's see what this does. This one's a lot darker. Actually, this one might be my favorite with the exposure up a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like that. I like her skin tone a lot in this. Um, and I might play around with like a brush and kind of darken up around here, not to give like a vignette, but just to darken, to really zero in on her. I do love the focuses on her eyes and her skin is quite lovely. Um, so yeah, I would probably honestly play with number five. That would be my favorite. But you said the LXCs, right? You bought the LXC pack, so let's play there. Yeah, so I found playing it with the LXCs that it does things to oranges. Um, and I should call it Lauren and Chris's, but I just call it LXC because that's what it says on my computer screen. Uh, I might maybe take the vibrance down in the oranges. My light room's going slow. Um, or something like that. Let's go to a different one and see if we find something that's better. I like that one a little bit better. This one I like a lot, actually. Um, again, these are so muted. These were, the, Lauren and Chris's work really well like in a forest setting. Um, and obviously you have a lot of greens around you, but with the backlighting, I find that it does like weird things to skin for some reason as I've been playing with them. Um, I love Lauren and Chris's like for rooftop stuff and woodsy things. And it, it really just depends on your lighting situation. Like that's too exposed. Actually, I kind of like that. I'm kind of a fan of that. The white balance needs to be changed, but my thing is going slow, so I'm not going to work on that. So a lot of it is just playing with the white balance and toning when you're using these. Um, because there's no camera profile for them, that's the one thing that you have to change. Uh, and I find it's easier to do that before you even add a preset. So. Oh, yeah, good, good, good job, Luke. Sorry, I'm an idiot. So this again is the before. Um, and I guess I could just do side by side. So what's this number one? Really a magenta hue kind of in it. Let's see if we like mess with the tint. Yeah, see, just even bringing down the magentas a little bit made the skin tone a lot better there. Thanks, Luke. I should have been doing that the whole time. I'm an idiot. See, learning curve. <coughs> and number three. Oh, I really like number three with the magentas brought down. I think we just had to play with the white balance a little bit with this one. I can see why you did decide to do black and white with this pack. Um, I, I get that now. <laughs> if you want, I can play further with it. Otherwise, I can move on. I wanted, really wanted to play with this forest image. I should have added that one to it. So if you have another question or want to see something else with that one, just holler at me, Elon. 
So again, this is my friend Megan. Megan Yans. She wanted to see how these work. Go up there. I can tell I have a lot of presets. <laughs> Thanks, Elon. <laughs> if you want to send me some more to play with, um, I can play with them tomorrow. Come on. So this is generally when my Lightroom starts going slow that I would just restart it. But I don't feel like doing that for you guys. It seems like a lot of time wasted. I only got like five more minutes. So this is um, Lauren and Chris. I like totally forgot what I was doing. I'm also curious on the long necker ones. Oh. Oh yeah, let me play with long neckers. Let's look at. I'm gonna um, toggle out of before and after. Oops. So this one's got like a really magenta e thing going on. This is number one. Um, number two, I just love the punchiness of the greens. Uh, I would probably play around with a, a a brush to get the greens out of skin tone and stuff, but um, I don't always like a muted green. I do like muted greens, but not always. It's not always good for every situation. And I think this. This is number three, which is my favorite of his. I think it works like everywhere. Um, and I would probably, again, with a brush, go in and darken things so that the focus really ends up on them, even though the photo focus. Yeah, skin tones are hard. I think, honestly, though, um, like with Vasco, um, I struggle more. So whatever they did developing these presets, it does magical things to skin tones to start with. And then you just have to really adjust uh, your toning and temperature, your tint and temp to make sure those are good. So yeah, um, skin tones are always hard. It's like just the struggle is real as a photographer to get skin tones right. But oh yeah, no, I'm done with all those questions. Keep them coming, guys. I like answering questions. Uh, we'll look at, oh, that was number three. We'll look at number four of Ryan's. Uh, that one's the really punchy one. Uh, actually works pretty good in this situation if you're going for like a, a darker, moodier edit. Um, I tend to kind of change it up depending on my lighting situation and the mood and feel of what I'm doing. I'm a, primarily a wedding photographer. So um, even in, within a wedding, I'll have moodier portraits and then uh, much lighter and airier portraits, which I'm finding even within these packs, they have ability of doing that within the pack just depending on you just have to change your exposure which is kind of cool because otherwise people think oh moodier is going to be vasco and lighter area is mastin i've seen a lot of people diverge from that but it's with a lot of tweaks so i think these are a lot less tweak heavy necessary um and his black and white is basically the same as what my black and white is which made me really happy i was like oh that's nice and we'll look at a couple of don and helens for this one too um, not a huge fan in the super green area of this green. Uh, if you have a lot less green, I really like it because it's muted and kind of brighter. Uh, yes. Yeah, no boundaries are the best. I should use that word usage, Luke. We have no boundaries. We can do whatever we want. Get it? <laughs> I'm so awkward. <coughs> and this is Don and Helen's number three. I like the greens a lot more on this one. And number four, this is the one I would probably choose if I had Don and Helen's pack. Um, I think it just is a great balance. I also really wanted to play with this crazy backlit portrait by my friend Megan. Um, like the first thing I would do, because that hurts my brain, is crop this. Because I have OCD. Crop it. Oh my gosh, you can tell my Lightroom is going so slow. What is up with Lightroom CC? Ugh. Okay, so the original on this one... Nice and bright, beautiful. And what I found with almost all of these is it automatically kind of takes the exposure down because you have a lot of contrasty things going on. Not necessarily that they've adjusted the contrast, but the things and the tones make things a little bit more contrasty. So I would immediately, um, depending on the look that she's going for, bring up this quite a bit because I want to be able to see all that awesome like dust and um, their highlights around their faces. So uh, when I was first playing with her image, I immediately brought the, the exposure up. 
So this that's done in Helen one. This is done in Helen two. I've got it before. I love it just mutes it and you can see more of the background, which might not necessarily be wanted, but you can go in with a brush and change that. The colors and the matte is just beautiful. And I love the brown undertones that they have in their whole pack. I constantly am trying to decide who's my favorite and I can't do that. Oh, did I just, yeah, I just toggled to before. So and that one's a little more green, that's number four. Three is like probably the most true to the original image, but I brightened it up. And I probably got like five more minutes here, guys. So if you have any other questions, let me know. There's 10 people watching me right now. And I feel really, really judged because only three of you have said anything. So please don't hate me. And my whole plan was to edit this wedding that I'm working on, but people sent me images and I thought that would be more fun. I didn't want you guys to judge my life. Um, if you want me to edit that wedding, I can start the wedding, Elon. <laughs> um, I, I, can, I can do that for you. Let me do that. You want me to switch the wedding? Elon's the only one that cares, so. And then maybe it'll go faster. So this is a wedding that you can see other things that I'm working on in the background that I struggled with the day of. Lighting situations were crazy. Um, I've been putting off editing it. They've been on like a forever long honeymoon, so it hasn't been a big deal. But uh, the struggle has been real for with this one. Um, we were in this hotel room and they did not want to turn the lights off because the hair and makeup people needed them, which is fine. It's life. Um, so yeah, I'm working, I'll, I just opened this wedding. So this is an awesome one I did in Chicago. Chicago is my second home. I'm from Michigan, but I live in Chicago half time. So this is the before, come on, pull up. Oh, I clicked over there. This is the before and that's after. So I had kind of not exposed how I normally do. So, oh yeah, nice yellow light. Yeah, so honestly, B, as I'm just gonna refer to you now, I was super stoked about these presets because of what they do to this yellow light. I feel like they just handle it so well. Like that's the after and it really removes a lot of that. I didn't even, I don't, I didn't even change the white balance um, or anything and it really made it quite exactly what I want. Do you experience a lot of issues with Lightroom after the latest update? 100%. I probably today I've been editing since four o'clock this morning because I'm with, I sleeping problems. Um, I've probably had to restart. And the best thing I've found is to just restart Lightroom. And I can give you advice on that another time if you want to just private message me. I've adjusted a lot of settings. It's just to restart it and then it goes faster. And I keep every wedding, every session in a different catalog and that helps too, but that's off the point. Watching from Norway. Good job. Thank you so much. It's so hard to decide what to get. All of them are so good. Um, this I had edited with, oh, uh, Lauren and Chris is number three. I had played with a couple other ones, but I found um, that <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. But Luke, you have to choose your battles. She didn't want to move. She was very, very adamant. She was the bride's friend. You got to pick your battles. So I knew um, that I could fix most of it in post or just give them a bunch of black and white images. So yeah. <laughs> Um, my buffer size is like the highest, I think it's like a hundred gigabytes or whatever. So, um, set it as the highest you can and that helps a lot. And Vasco does make things more yellow, which is why I really like these presets because it does not, the oranges stay like normal, regular skin tone oranges. So that's one from getting ready. Um, I use the same preset for like almost all these getting ready photos. I'm not like a huge fan, so don't judge my photography. It was like a weird place to shoot and I didn't have a lot of places, but I use Learn and Chris 3 for like almost all of these getting ready images. Um, this one I intentionally underexposed. Oh, you already brought, okay, so let's see, where did I mess with Don and Helen's? I think that was, let me check. This might be Lauren and Crystal. I honestly am like a really big fan of Lauren and Chris's pack. Let's play with, oh no, I did it in, I deliver way too many images to you guys, so don't judge my life. No. What did I do with this one? 
Look at what I did. I synchronized the settings, guys. So I don't even remember what I did here. Oh, no. I started at the end. I do a lot of um, animated uh, GIFs. So um, I have tend to have like a thousand of the same photo. <sighs> How they look indoors. Okay, I'll go back to an indoor one. I missed that. So let's go to like here. She always made really funny faces, so that was kind of fun. So I find with Don and Helen's, they work way better outside. Um, so that's part of it. And I think you have to do more toning stuff than you do uh, with the other presets. Don and Helen's three, I think works the best. And I found with Don and Helen's, you don't have to um, up your exposure as much. But again, I like a harsh sun is also fine. Okay, we'll play with that in a second. Um, yeah. Uh, what is it? Number four is usually everyone's favorite. I do like Donna Helen's number four for inside the most. For sure. The split toning is really lovely. It does cool things to these walls. Let's get them before. Um, obviously, my white balance was like pretty on point for that. I think I adjusted it just ever so slightly. I would probably change it more. I tend to just like see what auto does and then go from there like, mm, that's too blue in my brain. Oh yeah, let's see what long necker does inside. So not really, like that's long necker one. I think that's beautiful, super contrasty. Um, I love it. And in fact, when I was like trying to select presets, I had a really hard time because a lot of them just looked so good. I had to decide what kind of mood I was going for. Also, I think Long Necker 3 works really well for inside. You have to up the exposure a little bit more, but uh, I really like that one. She's super pretty. She's also just a wonderful human being. This is one of my favorite couples. They just had a, like a very complicated day and the places they wanted pictures were really bright and crazy. Um, so we'll play in Harsh Sun. This is like in the middle of a GIF. You can see that I'm GIFing here, like I'm make them do stuff. So you can watch how slow, and I've made smart previews and this is just going so slow. All right, we're working on this Harsh Sun. Let's look at more of Don and Helen's. So um, what's cool about these presets in the harsh sun is I find a lot of times with my own personal presets that I have to decrease the exposure if I didn't expose correctly in camera. And I, in my, I exposed properly, but in my brain, I wish I would have ex underexposed these a little bit. Uh, so what I find with a lot of these presets is um, if you kind of overexpose a little, it makes it like the perfect exposure in my in, for my style and everyone's style is different obviously and that's why not all presets work for everyone um, and that's why it's so hard to decide what pack to get that's why I own like every pack of every place ever because I just want to play I like to play around so and I really like five for this um, it's really nice and contrasty I like what it does to the greens it does make excuse me I burp sorry guys uh, it does make me kind of want to mess with white balance Let's see what my auto white balance does because I'm lazy Nah, that's too pink it always tries to do pink things and I don't like everything magenta. Um, the other place, I wanted to show you guys some more indoor stuff. So this wedding was in like a warehouse, which made everything really complicated. Where's the ceremony? Okay. And had just like a zillion lighting issues and I bear with me because I haven't even played with these yet on here. Like I'm, I'm trying. So let's see how they do with this incredibly tricky lighting situation. Like the one thing I would probably do is bring down highlights for sure. Um, white balance is going to have to be adjusted for sure. Like that kind of looks better. It looks maybe a little too yellow, but, um, Let's toggle back to you before. So obviously I shot it really dark because I didn't want to just blow out these highlights even though they already are kind of blown out. Um, it was nearly impossible. I tried to convince them to close the curtains or do an artificial light and nobody wanted to listen to me. So um, so that's Don and Helen 1. 
done in Helen 2. It's really nice because it does just kind of lighten everything up. I would definitely mess with the highlights. Um, and that would probably be the only tweaking other than white balance that I would do with these indoors. Let's see what Ryan's look like. I would immediately go for Ryan 3 and see how that works. That was Ryan 1. So Ryan 3 is usually my favorite for indoor. Um, this is actually a terrible image. I don't know why I chose this, this image. Uh, but this is like working for me in a way. Yeah, don't listen to the photographer. Yeah, basically how I felt. The, the venue people were just not awesome at all. And this is four is the really punchy Ryan one. And you know, because of this awkward lighting situation, I might go for really punchy and contrasty because then it looks like super intentional and not like I was trying to even everything out and make it really less contrasty. Again, everyone has a different editing style. Lucas would edit these differently than I would, then Jacob would edit, than me. Um, we all have our own eye and you're going to have your own eye too. I just find that this starting point of these presets is so much easier. Yeah, venues. So much easier than any other presets I've ever worked with. And I, again, don't get any benefit from telling you this, but I just, I'm really obsessed with them. Like, that's why I'm, edit, I'm my plan is to edit this entire wedding with these packs. I'll share it with you guys um, when I'm done. Uh, the other thing I wanted to try was some sunset portraits with them. So this is like super them, my favorite image of them for the whole wedding. And this is where I'm going to end. So if you have any other questions, quickly get them in because I'm going to be done after this one because I got to go. Um, so I just, this, like the way they were looking at each other, um, and this is and it, this is my edit. This is my normal style edit. So you can get an idea of what that looks like. Um, this is straight out of camera of a different one. I would straighten it just like I did the other one. So let's see what these presets do on this. So Ryan's three, oh, I like the contrast on that um, a lot. It's super similar to mine. Um, his is a little bit more contrasty and has a little bit of a, a muted black thing going on that I'm kind of a fan of. I also don't do grain. So like I, I think I said that earlier, I always take the grain off, but except for black and whites or if I'm doing digital grain, but that's like a personal preference thing in my style. Um, Brian's number four is the really contrasty one. Um, to make this look nice though, all you got to do is up your exposure a little bit and then it just looks really creamy and good so and let's look at some of lauren and chris's i love the pink in that it made me a little too pink because we got a lot of pink going on um i'm liking two a lot though that's awesome huge fan of that let's look at don and helen's my favorite one of theirs is four and the exposure is way too high for their four so like you can see exposure is like a a total a total thing with these presets that's the thing that really changes everything oh and i like three two with this so i'm gonna end it there this was again just a test please don't judge me too harshly um i'm hoping that we can make this a thing with the looks like film community and maybe bring you guys more awesome information share it on our website um you know, show, share what these awesome presets can do. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to private message me or email me. Again, my email is hello at Rachel K, that's R-A-C-H-E-L-K-A-Y-E, photo.com. So feel free to send me more presets. I'm planning on doing another one of these tomorrow. So if you guys email me any questions or if you want to see more of this wedding, because this was a really complicated wedding or another wedding, like I have one in a church that could be a good one to show you guys that I haven't edited yet. Um, I do not mind. I have a mu much more time tomorrow to sit and, and do this. And again, this will be uh, on YouTube so you can check it out again later. So thank you guys for joining in and interacting with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Adrian and B um, and Lucas, if you're still there, shut up <laughs> and everyone have a great night. All right. Thank you. Bye.